What is up guys and welcome back. Charlene FX with another YouTube video. Um, today's gonna be a good video, good video, okay? Um, well first, let me say um, again, thank you guys for stopping by and checking out my video. Um, I had 286 um, subscribers when I went to bed last night and when I woke up this morning, I was at 311, which is really, really cool to me. You know, it's small, but you know, to me, that's a big deal. I'm appreciative of everybody that hits the subscribe button. So if you do, if you are new here and you like the content that I have on this video or check out my other videos, please go ahead and subscribe. Turn on the bell notification so you can be notified. Uh, drop a like if you like the video um, because it really helps with the YouTube al algorithm and really gets my video out there for more people to enjoy. Now, this video was not a video that I had planned to make, um, but because of the the enormous amount of response that I got from it, some negative, some positive, um, I decided to just make a response to it. And it's going to be the video I did about my experience with IML. The video, if you haven't seen it, is called um, Forex Success uh, Without IML. I'll probably tag it or slide it somewhere um, up on, on, on this video towards the end. Um, so you can check it out if you haven't already. Now, that video was just my opinion on my experience with IML, okay? It wasn't directed at anybody personally. Um, you know, it, I, I really, I wasn't targeting, you know, a, a, a group of people, a, a specific race or demographic or anything like that. And the response that I got from it was like similar to, to touching on those different things. Like, you know, I had who I thought, you know, someone that we, I thought was a good friend of mine. Um, took it as like a personal attack when I made the video because that particular person is with IML and I do know people that are in IML and and I don't knock the company at all I don't knock well I knock the company I don't knock the people that are a part of it because at the end of the day it's a business um, you know if you want to run a business the way you want to run it and I may not agree with your model or your mission statement or whatever it is you choose to go after. Um, that doesn't mean that it's a bad company or anything like that. I wasn't, I didn't make that video to intentionally go out and bash IML. Like I woke up that morning, oh, let me just, you know, talk shit about company. No, I try to be as positive as I can about a lot of things. And even though my opinions of IML came off very negative about the company, it just so happens that that is just what my experience was with the company. So those of you that are DMing me, that are commenting under that video, hitting me up, telling me, you know, things like, you know, I'm, I'm wrong or I must have had a bad uh, team that, that I was on or I didn't put in the time or give it a chance. You know, I was only with them for a few months. That's not enough time to get to know anything or learn anything. Um, everybody has their own opinions on things like that's what y'all need to understand those of you that are watching it that felt the need to respond with that first of all there's a thousand other videos online that that really bash IML I wonder if you guys are doing that same crap to them if you're doing it under mine or messaging the people that made those videos I mean it's ridiculous it really is to me like the, the video is not towards directed towards any one person it's not even directed towards the owner of IML it's just my opinion on my experience with the company and so, but, but to respond to all that, I'm going to delve deeper. I'm going to delve deeper. I'm going to give them some more shit to talk about if they want to talk. Okay. When I made that video, first of all, it's my highest viewed video on YouTube. And I did it for a specific reason. IML is a trending topic on, on YouTube. It is a trending topic among the Forex community because they are so big and popular and they market so well. And that's how they're able to attract so many people that are uneducated and ignorant of the facts of what it takes to trade that, you know, it, it, they, they stand out as, as a standalone company. Anybody that trades Forex or, or looks up Forex online, Google, YouTube, anything, IML will pop up one way or the other. Um, I scroll through my Instagram feed and I'll see advertisements of people advertising and I can tell immediately that they're with IML because what it says, copy and paste, Forex is easy, I'm a P150, P600, or, you know, they'll be flashing something in the background. You can tell IML people just stand out with the way they market. Do I knock them for that? No, they're doing a business just like I'm doing a business. 
But when you talk about IML and when you talk about MLMs and you talk about Forex, those are two completely separate two different entities so now they don't belong together in any kind of way because that business model is destined to fail and the majority of the people that were upset about my opinion on IML are probably people people that are successful with the company or they're just true believers true believers for for whatever reason you know they they, they drink that kool-aid and some people are just down for the cause no matter what doesn't matter how bad their experience or something they might be attached to the business for other reasons other than actually being successful with it and i'm totally aware of that i understand it i again i don't knock it it doesn't matter to me one way or the other but for you to actually take the time out of your day to message me telling me that i'm so wrong or you know, um, I was targeting, you know, why am I, you know, uh, talking negatively about black people? Why am I targeting that black people bashing other black people? And I'm like, well, first of all, IML is not, it's not primarily black, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> the advertisements that you see online, the videos come from everybody of all different races, of all different backgrounds. I know a couple MLM companies that are majority black. One I can think of off the top of my head, TLC. Total Life Changes, that company that a lot of black women are pushing today. I mean, that, that damn neutral burst is on everybody's timeline right now. Everybody's pushing it. That, if you, if you bash that company or somebody from them, then you could then say, well, yeah, you're kind of looking at, you know, bashing black people because it's a lot of black people that push that product, that push that company. IML is not like that. IML is in a whole bunch of different countries. IML is... Everybody does it. Everybody of every race and background does it, okay? I used to do MLMs back in the day. I was a part of Avon. I was a part of um, Mona V. I was a part of um, MCA. MCA is not too much of an MLM, but, you know, it still falls under that category. And I did a shit ton more MLMs, okay? I never had success with any of them, and that's how I came to realize that I'm not a terribly good marketer and I'm not a good recruiter, okay? That's why I, I wisened up and I just stopped with MLMs because I realized that wasn't my forte. When you try something over and over and over and over again and you don't have success with it, sometimes either it's just not for you or you just got to try harder. And for me, I didn't have it in me. I did not have the motivation to want to go out and recruit people and to market things. I like that. I didn't want to have to depend on other people's efforts to dictate my success or dictate my paycheck or anything like that. And MLMs are just that. You need other people to tell you what your paycheck is going to be. With IML, the people that are successful with IML are probably the ones that are really good talkers really good storytellers, really good marketers, really good recruiters. The ones that are making money probably recruiting and they have a huge downline under them and they're good talkers, they're good motivators and they're able to like attract people and pull people in and make them, you know, fall for whatever it is they're talking about. And that's fine. That is an awesome skill to have. There's nothing wrong with that at all. But you do have that, you know, one side of people that don't immediately fall for it. You know, they want to know the nitty gritty. They want what you sold them from the beginning. You know, IML, somebody left a comment under my video, my last video that stated that, you know, they market trading and learning how to trade and such and such and such and such. But when they're recruiting people, they don't push recruiting. That's not part of their marketing scheme. They don't say, you know, come on board, bring two people, bring three people immediately. They don't advertise all of that. They advertise trading learning how to trade, copy and paste, um, you know, signals, indicators, all that. They advertise trading. They center their marketing around trading, around the lifestyle you can get from trading, the income you can make from trading. They push the marketing of their business model through telling people that they can succeed with trading. But when you get in, that's not the case. When you get in, they push you on marketing and they push you on recruiting. That's what it is. So to me, if y'all want to tell the truth and be upfront about how you guys truly attract people, then you need to center your marketing around what your business model is, which is recruiting. It is not solely trading. Trading is like the, the backdrop. It's like the, the facade that they put in front of everybody to lure you in. And then as soon as you come in, they pull a bait and switch on you and tell you, yeah, yeah, you can learn trading. Don't worry about that. Go tell your friends and family about it and then bring them on. 
It's a lie. It is a lie. If you're telling people, come on, you're going to do this, that, and the third, and oh, by the way, you're going to have to do this, this, and this. You didn't tell me I had to do this, this, and this when you were recruiting me. You told me I was going to learn how to trade, which is what I want to do. So if I come on and you cannot teach me how to trade because you don't know how to trade, but you know how to recruit, then you lied to me about you. You, you lured me in under false pretenses. That's what that is. If you're telling people that Forex is easy, you're lying. If you're telling people it's copy and paste, technically that's not a lie because you can copy and paste their signal. It doesn't mean you're going to make money. But if you say copy and paste and make money, yeah, now you're lying. Now you're lying because that's not guaranteed. Nothing is guaranteed in life. Nothing but death and taxes far as I know is guaranteed with in life okay not only that but with MLMs that whole business structure that whole I guess pyramid scheme y'all want to call it whatever um it's 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 like you're beating a dead horse because when you think about it you are recruiting somebody to come on to a business and you're telling them hey Charlene come on to my team and you tell your sister, your brother, your mom, your dad, your cousin to come on board. Bring your family and friends on board. Okay, great. So I bring my family and friends on board. Now I'm going to turn around and tell them, do the same thing. Mom, Chris, uh, brother, sister, cousin, you guys go tell your family to come on board. We're all in the same family, mind you. Okay? So we're all recruiting each other. If we don't have friends, outside friends, we're all recruiting each other now. Okay? So now, once, once I recruit them... And they go recruit our other family. Now they got to look for other ex third cousins, six, whatever, to recruit them to bring them on board. You, first of all, you're creating your own competition. You are creating your own competition in MLM because you're looking for people that want to take part inside your business organization, whatever it is, whether it's a product or service that you're selling. You are trying to bring anybody that you can onto the business. But while you're doing that, you're creating your own competition. Because if I recruit, you know, my best friend over here and I tell that person, hey, I'm recruiting you and you got to go recruit somebody else, but I'm also recruiting, we're probably going after the same people. The same people because you want them under your team. You want them in your downline. So you're literally like, like a hamster running in a, a hamster wheel. You are creating your own freaking competition. How, it's only so many people that we all know before you have to branch out and try other things to try to market. But aside from all of that, you have to lie to people. You have to lie and tell them, listen, it's easy, it's this, it's that, because at the end of the day, if you tell them the truth, they're not gonna sign up. If you say, hey, you know, Forex is really hard, you might lose a lot of money or a couple, a little bit of money in the beginning, you know, you have to pay every month for the membership. And you know, if you wanna get it free though, you gotta tell somebody about it. And by telling somebody about it, you kinda of have to tell them all those other things that I told you. But don't tell them all that other stuff because they won't sign up. You gotta tell them the good stuff about it and, and attract them and bring them in that way. That's basically what you're doing. That is what you're doing. And it's not fair, it's not fair. And that's just what my opinion was on it. That's how I see it, okay? You can take MLM and you can mix it with Forex, but don't focus on the MLM side, focus on the Forex side, focus on the trading side. Because if you are a good trader, if you are a profitable trader, if you know what you're doing, if you have a strategy, you're, you're good at teaching people, um, and you have you know a whole system set up, you won't need to recruit people. You will not need to recruit people because in life, all people care about are results. Our results, if you can show me your results and they are good results, then that's, that's all the proof I need that your business or your business model or your service or your product works. That's it. The only reason why people are interested in Forex is because they see other people producing from it. They see other people bringing in some sort of income from it that supplements or replaces what they already have. So people would not give a crap about it if they weren't getting something positive out of it that's going to enrich or benefit their lives in some kind of way or make their lives easier in some kind of way. So for me, I have about 20 students right now starting out since I released my course two months ago and several more people constantly inqu inquiring about my course about my teachings about how I trade asking me about my broker you know questioning me about my strategy you know watching my YouTube videos I'm slowly building my own following through my results from trading and the people are coming to me that way I don't have to go out and sell my course to somebody or preach about the lifestyle that Forex can provide somebody. That's all there, that the proof is already there. But work on yourself, produce results for yourself, and the people will come. 
So if, if, if IML focused on actually teaching people how to legitimately trade and become good traders, it would be so easy to sign people up. But the downside to all that is it takes too long to become successful. And some people never become successful at it. That's just the bottom line. That is fact. Some people will not succeed at Forex. That's just how it is. And it's not for everyone. But the promise of riches, the promise of a better life, the promise of, you know, making, you know, your yearly salary in a month, in a day even sometimes, is, is so enticing. It's so alluring. It's so sometimes outside the realm of possibility for some people that they cannot find it in them to, to use common sense and to really do their homework and to really dig deep into what they're getting themselves into to understand where all that comes from. Because nothing worth having comes easy. Nothing. It, it, if it was that easy, everybody would do it. Every single, there would be no homeless people. There'd be nobody poor. Nobody would complain about bills or money or none of that stuff if it was that easy. If everybody, if, if you were told that anybody can do it and it's so easy and it's this and it's that, this and that, this and that, then everybody would do it. So that's my response to that, okay? To that, to all the people that are coming at me, telling me that I'm bashing this, I'm talking about this. That video was not directed at anybody personally. It was just my opinion on what I endured when I was with IML. Do I knock anybody that's with? No, I have friends that are with the company. I have students that are with the company. Students inboxing me that bought my course that are currently with IML. One student messaged me saying, he wants to leave so bad, but he can't leave because he has a downline. He's got downline of people that are actually depending on him to help them and teach them and help them get better. So he's, he bought my course to help him get better at trading so that he can in turn trickle that down to, to his downline and help them become better traders. So do I knock people that are in IML? Do I knock, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I could care less. I don't give a shit who's with IML, um, that's just my opinion, that's just my take on that, okay, and, and MLMs, period, okay, I will probably never, not probably, I will never join an, IML, uh, a join an MLM company, because the business model is almost destined for failure, okay, everybody is on the bottom, the only people that make money are the ones at the very, very, very top, and it's so very difficult to maintain those statuses, you have to constantly market, constantly recruit, it's a different level of stress, you know, there's a, I, I've seen a lot of top earning MLMers on online on my Instagram feed. And I can imagine like they, you know, portray this life that they're so happy and, you know, they have money and they, they're doing this and they're doing that. But things are not always what they seem. You know, it's a different type of stress. It's a different type of responsibility that you have to uphold in order to maintain that life, in order to maintain that image that you already put out. You know what I'm saying? God forbid somebody is flashing a Lamborghini one day and then the next day, you know, you catch them, you know, at the street corner riding around in a Honda Civic. You know, it's just the fact that with the lifestyle that the, the, the lifestyle, not the lifestyle, but the times that we live in now, status is a lot. You know, when you see guys walking around rocking, you know, Louboutin shoes or driving the hottest car that's out or, you know, having an Instagram page that's, you know, 100,000 followers or, or you know, 200,000 followers, whatever it is. You know, it's all about status. And the more you have, the more popular you are, the more successful you appear to be, you know, the, the, the more people kind of uphold you and put you up on kind of a pedestal to make you feel like you more than you actually are. And, and then you have a, a responsibility to maintain that. You have a responsibility to post every single day. You have a responsibility to maintain whatever stuff you're, you're buying to, to post online, you know, the cars, the houses, the, the purses and the expensive, you know, restaurants and all that, the lifestyle. You have to maintain that. And God forbid you don't, oh my God. You know what I'm saying? So all of that plays plays a role with each other. So, you know, this video is already at 19 minutes. I don't want to keep it too, too long. But that was just my response to all of the, you know, all, not the positive ones or the ones that agree with me, just more the, the negative ones, the people that came at me sideways, you know, just bashing me because they feel like, you know, I, I did some somebody of, of people wrong for 
sharing my own experience with something. You know, somebody re recommends a, re a restaurant to me and they love that restaurant. And I go to a restaurant and I don't like my food or I don't think the service was good. And I jump on my phone, jump on Yelp and leave a bad review. Is that a reflection on the person that referred me to the, to the restaurant? No, it's just my experience with that restaurant. It doesn't have anything to do with the person that referred it to me. You know what I'm saying? They didn't refer it to me because they didn't like it. They referred it to me because they did like it. So it's just an opinion. It's just and my experience. Everyone's entitled to their own uh, opinions. If you if you think you're going to go to my video and drop comments, please don't. If you if you don't want to, if you don't agree with it, just shut it off. Shut it off and go to another video or you know block me. I don't give a shit. Don't come to my videos or or jump in my DMs and come at me because I'm bashing a company that you market or that you work for or whatever. It has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with you. It had to do with my own experience with that. And I really hope this is the last video I have to make about IML because just talking about it is a waste of time to me. It really is. I don't care about the company. I don't care about the people that are in the company. I don't care about the marketing, none of that stuff. That has nothing to do with me and my business. That's two separate things, okay? So I'm gonna cut the video here. Um, please share the video, like it. Um, subscribe if you like my videos some more. If you're one of those people that want to come and bash my videos, please cut it off. Just cut it. If you haven't already, cut it right here. Don't watch any more of my channel or the videos on my channel and just leave it there because I do not have the energy or the strength to, to continue with people like that. Uh, I want to keep as much as I can on my page positive. You know, I want to talk about things that are going to help people, benefit, people can find benefit and value out of. I don't want to waste time talking about nonsense such as I am out. All right. So guys, thanks a lot again. That's my video for today and I'll see you guys on the next trade.